Okay, here we go. Um, I really appreciate all of you, and I like the interaction that we're starting to grow and develop because I learn a lot from those of you that uh, share information with me, and then I try to share what little bit I know and what little bit I'm learning. So um, I'm going to share a few things that I've noticed about these bits some of the stuff is is kind of funny and some of the stuff I really don't want um, at least b the, those of us that interact with each other to be fooled by the marketing that they do with a lot of these bits so um, first thing I've noticed is that these these type of bits just the regular bits that have this look these are the cheapest bits all the manufacturers use these same type of bits um, I think it's maybe one or two companies and the manage managing company I think is uh, in Taiwan but the manufacturing is in China but the headquarters is in Taiwan and they are the ones that arrange to have all of these cheaper uh, bits produced and the ones that's not cheap they probably produce those too I'm just aware that the cheapest ones they they most of the manufacturers the craftsmen the wad whoever they all use the same company and they just stamp their particular name on there but we've seen that before that's what they do with some of these cases and some of the tools so we're used to that but i want us to become a little bit more knowledgeable so that we can use just a little bit of uh thinking before we purchase these uh tools once again, my particular story is I'm going to utilize the cases for other um, usage for, and I did not have any other options but to acquire the cheap bits with the case. So that's my story on how I've accumulated so many bits. But one of the things I've noticed is that, okay, you have this level of cheap bits. What they're doing now is they're doing this painting it black thing. Does the paint make a difference? Um, no, it does not. Um, it's not improving the grip. <laughs> this one is so funny that it actually says tough grip. And the difference between the tough grip and the regular grip is that they painted the tip. And what's funny, the grip is so tough that it can't even stay on the bits before they're used. So check that out. The paint is wearing off the bit and the bits haven't even been handled multiple times or even taken out the, the, the holders or the inserts and the paint is off already. It's rubbing off already, but it's tough grip. So the paint that can't even stay on the bit is making this grip tough compared to this that does not have the paint and it's the same bit just paint it black and they call this tough grip and now you'll spend 18 or 20 something dollars or more for this because it's tough grip compared to this that you might get for I don't know $17.99 or $14.99 or whatever I don't know I've paid the different prices for all of these but what I usually try to look at is I try not to go between or past six to eight dollars per case. So if it's one of those package deal where you have two of these cases, I try not to spend over uh, six to eight dollars per case. If it's something like this that costs like seventeen dollars or fifteen dollars or eighteen or nineteen dollars, then that's closer to nine to ten dollars a case. Um, no, no, I mean this particular one, but I'm I'm looking at the the type of bits the uh, length does help uh, because when you have these especially these little cheap holders the length allows you just to insert it into your your impact gun without this and do what you're doing so the black paint does not assist the grip 
not at all but the length does assist you so this type of bit will assist you more than this type of bit and all these fill up bits hopefully and and they throw these in when they're showing you the pieces oh 50 pieces now mind you 25 or 30 of those pieces are probably here just a little uh t20s and other stuff that they put in there um but okay back to this so if you have a choice use a screw that allows you to use the star you know whether it's t20 t25 the fitment is going to be much better you can take a cheap bit stick it into a star screw and you're going to have better longevity and a better fit than trying to take your tough grip Phillip and screw in a Phillip screw because the math and the data supports that you're definitely going to round it out sooner or later and you're going to have to use another bit that's why they sell so many bits that's why you go through so many bits why you lose the bits or whatever occurs no matter what they say even if they say 50 times more life or if they say three times more life oh uh, actually this one might be talking about the uh, the drills but anyway no matter what they say and this one is titanium coating ooh nice but really the type of screw that you're using is going to have a big difference on the longevity or the life of your bit. So, if you have a cheap bit, this type of bit, this one and the square, the SQ2 or the SQ1 or whatever size you have, just the fact that the head is square, even if you're not doing woodworking, if you can get these square heads for whatever you're doing, it will assist you. Yes, it's a little bit more than the Phillips screws because the Phillips screws have been around forever and they're really, really, really cheap and the inventory is still floating out there. But if you're doing something where you have to go through a lot of screws or if you're building projects where you have multiple units, I would suggest go with screws that are not flathead because flat is dead. Consider flat line, flat head, slot it, goes together. So flat heads are dead. This is screwdrivers now are used more for prying stuff and, and, and doing other things besides screwing in a flat screwdriver. So if you guys are working with screws that have flat heads, please try to do something to improve your life setup to where you can work with screws that are at least... A star or square and go past the Phillips because the Phillips is going to be the same thing eventually the tip is going to round out the head and then you're going to have to get a different type of head and blah 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 well I, I wouldn't say a different type of head but it's sort of like how all the domestic cars in America used to be made they were made to break down to keep you going to the dealer to service the cars they were made with that design. So the screws and the bits are designed to keep you purchasing the bits. These you're going to purchase the bits less and it's going to allow you to screw it in and remove the screw with less of a rounding problem with the with the stars or the uh, squares. So if you're doing something where you need to remove the bolts or, or, or the screws that you placed into whatever. So try to make a determination of what you're using the screws for. Um, I've shared with you in a, a recent video that I was assisting in some set building or set tear down. And they use a lot of reused screws. So there are screws everywhere. And a lot of these screws have been stripped out. The heads of the screws are in all kind of conditions. So in that particular case, it doesn't matter what kind of bit you're using. If you're using a tough bit, uh, tough grip bit, titanium, in that particular setting, 
still if the head of the screw is slight is is worn down because it's been reused over and over and over again no matter how expensive your bit is it can only fit so much so in that particular application it, it, it doesn't matter because I am not in control of the condition of the screw head so if you're in a situation where it's just only you purchasing the screws brand new and you're the one that's inserting the screws and removing the screws and you're in a very very controlled environment then you have all those type of options between your bits and your screws but sometimes every situation is not like that so continuing with our talk so this is one of the things that they're doing now this is um, one of their newer things and so they paint it so you're paying for the fact that they took their time to paint the entire bit here they tried to tip and I guess enough of you guys bought these types where they say hey if we can charge them more for the tip just painting the tip then we probably can charge them more for painting the entire bit so that's what they're doing now uh, let's see these are just the cheap regular little Phillips um, let's see what do they call these uh, call them number twos okay 25 mm okay but whatever um, now these little uh, these little socket ones are pretty cool um, if they have the magnet in the middle that's also cool like in here you got the little magnet so that is convenient because it allows because some of these the composite they use are so infused with cheap stuff that they barely magnetize when you have a sleeve that's magnetic and you stick it onto one of these they barely hold the head of the boat because it's such a small percentage of metal I don't technically know what they're composing these uh, stuff of nowadays but they're trying to use other material that makes it cheaper for them to mass produce these that way they can continue to uh, have profit margins but yeah the fact that this have a, a magnet and yeah less and less grip on these bits because the material has less metal when they stamp these and put these together so let's see I went over this black black um, the length now when you hit these you can hear a difference you can you know I don't know if that's coming across you know in the tones but that does make a slight difference but once again it's more of a factor of the type of screw than the quality of your bit you know you got the metal and the Japanese made metal and the German made metal and the Swiss made and all that stuff is really cool but if you're screwing screws and unscrewing screws then square star and something like that is going to work better than flathead and fill up no, that's it. it it won't matter so as a suggestion I would suggest that you guys look at your application how you're going to use your bits how what 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 is your application and that should determine how you're acquiring these bits um, and what type of bits so please think once or twice and what you're going to do if you're at home DIY if you're using this in a trade if you're drywalling whatever it is just think of that particular application and let that determine what you're doing like a lot of people that does um, do uh, drywalling and other type of applications where they go through a ton of screws within their shift or their project or their day then it's cheaper for them just to have bolt screws so if they get all these cheap uh, bits then is is better for them because as long as they have a fresh cheap bit it works good enough and a lot of times they just drop them at the site and it's so cheap that they don't even have to worry about picking it up finding it they just grab another bit and continue on with their day so in that particular case they don't need to purchase these more expensive black whatever they want to call them bits you know it's not going to benefit them because all they need to do is just drive the screw as fast as they can and a bunch of cheap bits get that done 
Now, sometimes they sell the people on, you know, 50% more life. And yes, the manufacturers can have a controlled environment where they can show this particular screw lasts longer than the other cheap, non-coated, non-titanium coated uh, uh, bit. Then, okay, you know, I, I, I don't knock that. That's a fact that this particular type of coating can last longer than this one. But in our average use of these bits, we're not going to see that difference. So um, these are just some of the things I learned. If you have comments, leave them. I really appreciate all the information that you guys share um, within our particular community. Let's see what else. Yeah, once again, Milwaukee, same thing. They're doing the all black thing. And they charge you more because it's supposed to be more cool. Oh, yay, we got black bits now, so it's a super duper bit. But once again, it's just the type of screw that you're using. So if you have any comments to this, you know what to do. I'm going to stop this video because I'm starting to repeat myself. And I will catch all of you next time. Thank you.